Jensen, thank you very much for agreeing to do this interview with me today. You're um, welcome. It's a it, great pleasure. When you were my age, which is 14, um, do you, did you know that you wanted to be an engineer? Uh, I was always rambunctious. I was always setting stuff on fire and gluing stuff together and blowing things up and, you know, digging holes in this and building that and whatnot. So, so I was a rambunctious kid, but, but um, I always cared deeply about grades and I always knew that I wanted to do something in mathematics. And for somebody who, who, um, who has an analytical mind, uh, who likes to build things, uh, who likes to uh, make things the world's never seen, uh, being an engineer is the, is the perfect, perfect, uh, perfect career. You know, what engineering really is, is um, understanding problems, um, having tools that helps you analyze problems, and break the problems down into smaller pieces so that you can find sound, um, mathematically sound or scientifically sound um, solutions for those problems. Uh, most of life is really about smart problem solving and I, I found that, that um, uh, my engineering skills in problem solving and my education in first principled knowledge um, has really helped in in um, almost everything that I do, including being a CEO. So what's it like to be an engineer at NVIDIA? What projects do you work on? What do you do every day? One of the things that's really cool about our company is that you're surrounded with people who are genuinely passionate about doing the same thing that you're trying to do in the same field. Uh, let's do something that matters, something that we're good at, and something that brings us joy. Okay, and so. Um, what I've just described is really the first principles of strategic thinking and um, uh, it's how we decide what to work on and of course if it followed and satisfied the rules that I just provided uh, it must be pretty cool and smart thinking about a problem is really at the beginning of engineering it's asking the question what is this problem really about now there are some problems that if you try to solve it in the most literal sense it would take a long time to solve it might take a lot of money to solve. Uh, it might take an enormous amount of cost, to, you know, in time or resource or whatever it is, or materials. Um, but if you change the problem and you, you truly understand what is, it, what is the person really trying to ask? You know, what is, what is at the core of that problem? Maybe you, maybe you can express that problem in a slightly different way. And as a result, it becomes solvable and a solution can be found. Maybe you, can break, maybe you can break the problem down into 10 pieces and that you would solve it over time. That it almost doesn't matter um, what the end profession is. I think the most important thing about engineering is that you're learning life skills about asking the right questions and breaking down problems and finding solutions to it that are, that are elegant and optimal and, uh, and have the life skills to continuously improve and you know, all of those skills are, are really all that engineering teaches us, along with, of course, a lot of first principle knowledge that, that is, you know, that is, that is when applied, um, helps us find more elegant solutions. And so uh, that's, that's really all engineering is about. And so problem solving is life. You know, problem solving is life. And, and um, uh, what, what, what could be better preparation for life than to have the world's best skills for problem solving. Thank you so much for doing this interview with me today. I found the answers to the questions. They were really, really interesting answers. I learned a lot. I appreciate it too. I enjoyed talking to you.